Welcome back to GCN Racing and highlights of the third stage of the Volta Algarve. A long one at over 200 kilometers, but with the only two categorized climbs coming in the first third of the stage, this looked to be the final opportunity for the sprinters in the race. Faro at the venue for the start, Tavira the finish. Three riders made up the day's breakaway, Gottschon Martin of Fundacion Orbea, Tiago Antunes of Ifapel, and Alexander Grigoriev of Atom General Tavira Maria Nova Hotel. Two teams were controlling things behind, Kofidis looking to set up a sprint for Elia Viviani and De Koenig Quickstep working for both race leader Remco Evenepoel and stage one winner Fabio Jakobsen. With just over 40 kilometers of the stage remaining, the gap between the front trio and the bunch was sitting at one minute. And then there was a big crash into a central separating aisle that saw three riders go down, all from the same team. Three of Trek Segafredo's key classics men, in fact, Kuhn de Court, Edward Turns, and Jasper Sturven. It would take some time for Turns and Sturven in particular to get back to their feet, but eventually they would, and back on their bikes, and finish the stage. The breakaway were eventually caught just inside 20 kilometers to go. Cue fresh attacks from the main peloton. Although that one didn't last particularly long, and it was all together with 10Ks to go to the finish. The big sprinters teams all amassed at the front of the peloton, and the general classification riders also trying to stay out of trouble. Inside three kilometers to go, and it was the red train of Team Sunweb who'd taken control of the peloton. The question was though, had they started too early? Case Bowl, the big Dutch sprinter, the man that they would be working for. It all started to get a bit scrappy though in the closing kilometre of the race and the big fight was to get into the final right hand bend. That mark would come with just a few hundred metres to go and in the end it was De Koenig Quickstep who would lead the whole peloton into that point, Jakobsen a little bit further back. Alexander Kristoff in the white here though dive bombing in front of the Dutch champion into that turn. In the end, we'd get the answer to our question. Team Sunweb hadn't gone too early. Bowl's last lead-out man dropped him off at the perfect place with 200 metres to go. Bowl went with Christoph on his wheel. Jakobsen tried desperately to come past on the right. Model of Alps in Phoenix on the left, but neither were a match for the big Dutchman who crossed the line to take his first win of the season. The overhead shots here show it was Modelo who was coming quickest at the finish. He would finish second on the stage, Jakobsen would have to settle for third and Christoph there in fourth. Well what a win for this man, the fourth of his career and with the pedigree of the sprinters here in Portugal that's arguably his most impressive yet. It's a great ride from Daniel Hulgaard of the Uno X team to finish fifth. Mullen was the sprint of a Trek Segafredo in the end coming sixth, Viviani a disappointing seventh. No change in the general classification, despite this graphic from the race organisers. It's still Remco Evenepoel in the yellow jersey. He's on the same time as Max Schachmann in second. Dan Martin is third. Rui Costa now down to fourth, courtesy of where he finished on the stage. Tim Bell